It was a bittersweet occasion as thousands turned out to celebrate the life of Michael Sata and bid a final farewell. When his coffin made its entry into a packed hero stadium, some could not hold back the emotion, including family and political comrades. Thank you. Thank you for teaching us that our greatness lies in looking out for the weak. Looking out for the weak. The poor, the vulnerable. But the grief was not Zambia's alone. The presence of international heads of state, indicative of the regard in which the Southern African nation is held. Today, a dark, heavy cloud hangs over Zambia and over Southern Africa. Indeed, over Africa, if not the entire world. Sata was called a man of action largely due to the progress he made in developing the country's road network. With his term cut short, his party members have vowed to carry on his legacy. The struggle for a better Zambia, therefore, continues. And with God's grace and support and understanding of the people of Zambia, the Battle Front shall carry on and represent President Sata's dream and mission of transforming Zambia into a modest and prosperous society is attained. Zambia's fifth post-independence president now lies at the Embassy Park in Lusaka, the presidential burial ground, alongside the country's second and third presidents, Frederick Shiluba and Levi Mwanawasa. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Lusaka, Zambia.